All right, let's try. Let's apply what we know. So solve each exponential or logarithmic equation. So look at what we have here. We have this base number 3. We have this exponent of n is equal to 11. Well, to solve that, we're going to undo that operation. And the undoing, da da da, -da superpower logarithm. So the base number, remember the base goes here. The value goes here. The exponent goes here. So here's our base. So log with base 3, here's our a value, is equal. So what this is asking, remember about the superpowers? What power of 3 gives you 11? So 3 to what power equals 11? Well, and remember, since 3 is the base, you can't just type log 11 into your calculator because in your calculator, when you type log, it's always the base 10. But the really brilliant go around to that is there's this change, uh, change of base formula that says you take the log of the, ba of the A and divide it by the log of the B value. So here's our A. Here's our b. So in your calculator, you're just going to type log 11. Be sure and close the parentheses or it won't work. You'll get an incorrect answer. Divided by the log of that base 3 and hit enter. So I'm going to do that now. Log 11, right parentheses, divide. Log 3, right parentheses. And we get 2.18, and it's going to go on and on and on. So I would maybe just say is about 2.18. Unless it tells you, sometimes it tells you to round to the 10,000th place. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to put 2.7. Uh, and because I rounded, we have to put the about sign. Okay, I'm going to erase all that stuff because I need to go on to this next problem. So all I did is I undid this process. All right, so now we're going to go on to this next one. We have these two. Oh, this is going to be easy. We're not even going to, going to need to do anything. So remember when we have, we, we were working on this this last week. If you have, uh, say, 2 over x squared, is equal to x minus 5 over x squared. When those denominators are the same, you can kind of ignore them. They don't go away. And remember, since x is in the denominator, we automatically know that x can't equal 0. But what we can do is we can ignore them and just solve the numerator, right? You'd add 5 to both sides, so x would be equal to 7. Well, we're going to do something similar. Notice we have log of base 10 of both sides. Because our base numbers are the same, we can ignore them and we can just write 28 is equal to 7 subtract. And I'm going to get put that invisible one right there. Well, now I can get this by itself. Well, that's a positive 7. So I'm going to subtract 7 on both sides. And that leaves me with 21 is equal to negative 1v. Well, we're just going to divide both sides by negative 1. And that's v is equal to negative 21. And then you would need to type that in to make sure that that's correct. 7 subtract negative 21 becomes 7 plus 21, which is 28. Yep, log, tw log base 10, 28 is equal to log base 10 of 28, so that's correct. All right, let's move on to another one. So now we've got an exponential. Let, let's see what we have here. We have 4 to the 2x is equal to 64. Well, what do we know about 64? Well, 64 is the same as, ah, 4 to the 3rd. 
Well, remember what we said a little bit about the base numbers of logarithms? Well, when you have the base numbers of exponentials that are the same, you can ignore it, and then you can just write 2x is equal to 3, and when you solve for x, you get x is equal to 3 halves, because remember, you just have to divide both sides. So look at what we did there. Look at what we're doing, what, what we understand about base numbers and properties of logarithms, properties of exponents, and what we understand about algebra. And in this case, when the base numbers are the same, you can ignore the bases and set them equal to each other. Ah, now look at what we have here. We have log of base 6 of this thing being multiplied by this 7 right here. Well, before I, and the variable, that k number is right there. Well, we want to figure out what k is equal to. But k is attached, is part of this log base 6. So we want to get all of this by itself. We've got this 7 attached by multiplication. So we're going to do the inverse operation. So that leaves us, leaves us with log base 6. This k plus 7 is equal to 2. Now we've got this log, logarithmic equation. We need to undo it. Well, what's the undoing of a logarithm? It's the exponential form. Remember, our base number is 6. Our a value is this whole thing. And our n, or our exponent, is 2. We're going to have to use an exponential form. So here's our base. Here's our exponent. Oops, I put base instead of our base is the number 6. Our exponent is the number 2. And our value is k plus 7. Well, we can write 6 squared as 36 is equal to k plus 7. And to get the k by itself, we would just subtract 7. So we would find that 29 is equal to k. All right, let's keep going. Oh, now we've got some ugly stuff going on here. Um, I'm going to, well, I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, let's see if this, yep. Nope, that's not going to work. Sorry about that. Okay, so what we have here, we have this base 2. Remember what I said a little bit ago. If you can get all of the base numbers the same on both sides, then you can ignore the bases and you can set the exponents equal to each other. Well, 16 is a power of 2 and 32 is a power of 2. So I'm going to rewrite 16 as 2 to the 4th, and that's to the negative 3r, times 32 is 2 to the 5th, and that's raised to the power of 2r plus 3, is equal to 2 to the 4th. Okay, well, we still have some more simplifying to do. This power is being raised to a power. And what did we just learn about the laws of exponents when a power is being raised to a power? Yes, you multiply. So we can rewrite that as 2 to the, two to the 4 times negative 3r is negative 12r times 2 to the 5th to this. Well, that is an expression. Remember, it's multiplication. This is going to become a distributive. So that's going to be 2 to the 5 times 2r is 10r. 5 times 3 is 13. Well, we're getting really close because the base numbers are all the same. And what did we learn about base numbers when they're being multiplied? Oh, yeah. We add those exponents. So here are two base numbers being multiplied. We can 
add those exponents. So we're going to have 2 to the negative 12r plus 10r is negative 2r. And there are no other numbers, so we can just bring down that 13. And now we have our base numbers the same. So negative 2r plus 13 is equal to 4. We're going to subtract 13 to both sides. And we now have negative 2r is equal to negative 9. Last step, you're just going to divide both sides by negative 2. We're going to end up with r is equal to, well, negative divided by negative is positive. And what you have left is 9 halves. r is equal to 9 halves. All right, I think we're going to try one more up. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and then we're going to uh, work on graphing.